up in interest, but start from a much, much lower base. You just look at the contrast. CME Group had over 100 million contracts outstanding at year end versus just 9 million at NSC. Just to clarify for those of you who may be uh, um, looking at this kind of information for the first time, volume is basically tracking the flow of transactions taking place on the exchange. Open interest measures the number of positions outstanding at any point in time. So think flow versus inventory. I'm measuring open interest here at year end. Um, obviously there's open interest on in every single day, but that's just a, a, um, a simple way of showing the level at that point in time. I should want to mention another thing too, just to make it clear, you'll see there's a star um, after Intercontinental Exchange, SIBO, NASDAQ, and Miami International. That star is to indicate that those exchanges rely on the OCC for the clearing of their equity options. This is a kind of unusual feature of the market structure in the US. Rather than having their own clearing house, they rely on the OCC. And there's no easy way to break out the open interest to exchange. So their numbers are slightly understated because that segment of their product set is actually cleared at this industry utility. All right, so let's take a look at sort of a breakdown by 